morning, everyone. Eva Delicious here with your Showgirl Stretch. Sorry to those who were hoping to be on at 10. Life happened, but it's okay. It's all good. Just preparing to get out of town and go camping this weekend. All right, so let's start out. Um, feet hip width apart. Today, um, keep it wide for right now. We're just going to make some big circles with our hips. So settling in, feeling the ground supporting us. Nice bend in the knees. And let's pull our pelvis forward and back. I'm using the low abs, not so much the glutes. Just enjoying that movement. Starting to warm it up. And then come to center. And then just slide your hips across. So pushing out, kind of keeping the hips level, actually. Trying to keep the tailbone in. Beautiful. All right, and coming to center, we're gonna take it forward, slide it out, pull it back, navel to spine, side. Making a box, warming it up. The more you bend your knees, the more your hips can move. Nice, and now circle it out. Big circle, remember navel comes to spine when you go back. Try to keep the head in one place and the hips circling big around, really enjoying all that movement. So uh, this week in Showgirl Temple, I've been working a lot with what I call slink sauce dance and forward, side, push it back, side, forward. We went over it um, a lot more in our My Becoming Babelicious program, but I'm gonna share some tidbits with you here because it's a really lovely way to kind of juice yourself up, reconnect with your sexy side, and it just feels good. <laughs> to do it, but I will say it um, helps to warm up a little bit first so that your body can move in these ooey gooey shapes. So, nice big hip circles here, beautiful. And then let's take an inhale, chest lifts, arms come down, chest stays up. One more time, inhale. And again. Nice, now that your chest is nice and lifted and you're extended, let's push forward and pull back. Forward, pull back. So trying to keep it just in the upper back, kind of in between your nipples, your sternum is coming forward and back. Especially if you're sitting at a desk, it's gonna feel nice to get some movement in there. Beautiful, and just like we did with the hips, side to side, just sliding the ribs across. If you think about that one point, again, sliding back and forth. Breathing, enjoying, and we're gonna start do a square or a diamond, however you choose to envision it, kind of on the floor and then smooth it out, circle it. Nice. And coming to center, let's go the other way. Forward, side. You can keep your knees bent. Sometimes it helps to isolate when you bend your knees. That way your legs have something to do and your hips are kind of engaged and they don't try to help too much. In a minute, we're gonna let it all go. But for now, let's try to just do the chest. Ah, good stuff, right? All right, and just loosely now swing. Let your arms flop, release any tension you might have gathered there. Nice. And let's do some shoulder circles. So first, shoulders back at the same. 
same time. You can take your time with that too. Uh, opening up the chest. Beautiful, and now bring it forward. I try to keep my elbows straight so that it stays up in my shoulders. Nice, and now my favorite with the shoulders, one goes back and then the other goes back. This is already getting a little slinky, yeah? If you want, you can let your chest rotate with it. Ooh. Feels so good. Nice, let's bring it forward. Let's see if our music comes back. There it goes. So this is music from my Slink Sauce playlist on Spotify. I will put a link to it. I've got a few of them from the Becoming Babelicious program. All right, nice. Let's just bring a little heat into our legs. So we're gonna do shimmy, so bending and then pushing one quad and then the other back. Speed it up, never locking out the knees. Letting your tummy jiggle, maybe your chest jiggles, maybe your arms and your booty. Keep going. If that's totally comfortable for you, start dragging your hands up your body. Feeling over your skin in a way that feels good <laughs> to you, right? Part of the slink sauce is enjoying it. Nice. Okay. So let's do a little bit of sling sauce moves and then we'll get into some stretching it out. So I'm gonna bring my feet in a little bit closer together. You are totally welcome to play with where it's comfortable for you. Bending really deep now. I'm gonna push down into one hip and then use my oblique to scoop that up. So just do that side for a moment. So it's like a circle on the wall and if you want you can let your heel, heel come up here sometimes it helps accentuate the movement we're not going for like supreme belly dance technique right because it's burlesque we can be a little sloppy with it nice all right let's try the other side so we're going to push it down and use our oblique to pull it up So circling, horizontal circle. All right, you guessed it. We're gonna put it together. So it's gonna become an infinity. So pushing down, pulling up. The other side pushes down, it pulls up. Oh, my right knee is unhappy today. I'm gonna step a little with it. My knee just doesn't want to bend very much. So if your knee's feeling that way, you're welcome to do that too. Or if you just like the movement. Dipping, using those obliques to pull up. Nice. All right, you can do the down the other way too. So still a nice bend in the knees. We're gonna use our oblique to pick our hip up push it out and let it drop down. So circle on the one side first. Same circle that we did before. Nice, enjoying that. So slinky dance to me is when you're really gooing through the movements and letting it feel other way, of course. So let's see, we did we're gonna go up, <laughs> pushing it down, pull it up, out and down. Letting the energy goo around your body, kind of like honey or a golden light, just dripping all over you and not thinking too much about what it looks like, more enjoying the sensation of it. 
So now we're connecting them. And these moves to, you know, it's muscle training. So practice, practice will make it feel better in your body for sure and make it smoother and more muscle controlled. But really any way that you just wanna let your body ooze around and be real juicy and enjoy that. Counts as slink sauce. All right. Let's take that out a little bit. Let's do our little rotations. Sometimes that can be a lot, me obliques. Ah, all right, let's see. So we did some hip circles. That definitely counts, right? Moving your pelvis around. We did chest circles. other way because that's fun and we did I'm just gonna call these sneak hips for the ease of everything we're not gonna get real technical with our stuff but you can do it up and down and then you can combine it all don't forget the touch so just move whatever feels good to you like you're flowing some energy up and around your body. Yeah. Just enjoy the feeling of it. Whew. All right. Yum, right? Isn't that nice? Let's stretch it out now that we're warmed up a little. I'm warmed up. Ah. Inhaling up and let's tip it over. Support yourself with your hand on your hip. Pushing into the foot that you're stretching away from. Ribs staying in alignment with your pelvis. Now that you've warmed up all that side, this should be a nice stretch for it. Shoulder stays down. Nice, inhale it up. <sighs> Inhaling. Exhaling up, 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 over. Pushing into that foot. Shoulder staying down. I think mine was trying to creep up. Breathing here. <sighs> Inhaling up. Let's get a little more opening uh, in the chest. So taking the hands, clasping them behind you, pushing out and away as much as you can. And then you can turn to one side, look over the shoulder. Whew. Try and push that shoulder that you're turning away from down. And hold your shoulders back. Nice, release that, shake it out a little bit. Let's get up into our arms a touch. We haven't done that a whole lot, but Nice, pull across, shoulder stays down, not up here. And circle your wrist if you like. And back the other way. Nice, releasing across to the other side. So I'm keeping this hand over here, real, this arm straight. So I get nice stretch on the top of my arm, multiple areas there. Nice, oh, releasing that there. Check in with your chin. We're gonna do a little bit of neck stuff, so we don't wanna be too out here. Slide it back just a touch, and make sure it's level. We're not tilting up, and we're not tilting down. Okay, the chin's staying pretty level as we're doing this. So we're gonna tip ear to shoulder, and if you want more, you can rest your hand by your ear. Push your palm out on the opposite side. Check in with your chest. Make sure it's staying in alignment with your pelvis. I was starting to poke forward. Nice. Release your hands. And then roll across to the other side. Oh. I did some floor work yesterday that was 
kind of intense on the neck as I was figuring it out. A little tight there. Being on my computer and my phone, <laughs> trying to communicate with everyone is not helpful. How about you? <laughs> Let's release your hands and rotate and just roll gently across ear to shoulder. And if you like, you can slowly take it in a full circle. I'm not going to today because the stuff that I was doing has kind of pinched that area. Nice. And start to rotate your chest. Inch your feet a little bit forward, more forward if you like. Dropping your head, rotating your chest. Take it a little bit bigger. Maybe you bend over a little bit more. All these circles you can use in your slingsaw stance. Come forward. Let it hang down for a minute. <laughs> Let's bend over, keep knees bent, clasp opposite elbows. <sighs> and just let gravity pull you out. If you want, you can sway your upper body back and forth, keeping the knees bent, even if you can't usually straighten them because we're stretching our upper back and neck. Awesome, come to center, release your clasp, start rolling up, tuck your pelvis under, and then stack your vertebra. All right, we're gonna do those circles to the other side. So letting the chest help you. Realizing why I need a hair tie. Keep going, swirling your spine out. Nice, come to center again. This time you can, if you can reach down to the ground, your shins or your thighs and stretch your spine out long. Make sure your neck is released. Nice. And bend your knees if you like. A little bit more space in there. Beautiful. And now bent knees, rolling up. Tuck that pelvis under and then stack the spine. <sighs> Let's, uh, it's got a wide leg stance here. Some of my favorite stretches, yeah? All right, so rotating one foot open, other, your hips stay to the front of the camera <laughs> and your other leg is to the side. Oh my, who needs stretching? Me. Standing up straight, reaching over. Reach down, grab your thigh, your shin, your ankle, the floor. <sighs> Opening up, hips staying in line with your pelvis, so make sure you're not bowing open. You're keeping that tucked in. And then let's circle our arm to the back. Nice opening there, beautiful. Look down and start to rotate, 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 rotate. Coming down into a high lunge here, so you can have hands on your thighs or coming down to the ground, or maybe blocks. And let's just rock back and forth. Nice little movement in there. Open up the hip flexor. Beautiful. Pushing that leg straight, both feet into the ground. Nice. Dip your knee and then start to pull your leg in a little bit more. So a little bit narrow of our stance and then straighten both legs. So you might be up here, or you might be down, you might be on the floor, as long as your spine is straight. And your hips are square, so we don't want them open like this. We want them facing the same way as the knees and toes. Definitely got to wiggle 
Bend your knees, step your feet together, and then roll it up, tucking your pelvis first. Okay, you're out of the way. Let's reach it out to the other side. So rotate, open your one foot. Other foot floats is the camera. Hips is the camera. Stretch it open. Out and over. Take all the space you need. Check in with those ribs. And circle your arm. Reaching nice and long. Beautiful. Arm comes down, start looking at the floor. Reach, reach, reach. Turn it around to a long lunge. So either up on your knees, if this is more comfortable for you, or touching down to the floor. And rocking it back and forth. Might be small if your hands are on your thigh, and that's okay. <clears throat> it's a lot of stretch here. Thinking about your hips dropping down. Pressing into the floor. Earth's pressing back up, holding you. Lovely. Bend that back leg and then come forward a bit. So straight back. So maybe you're on your thigh, maybe you're on your shin, maybe you're down to the ground. Check in, square your hips. Mine were quite open, so you want to square them. Pull them in line with your knees and your toes. Breathing here. Wiggle if you need to. Got a glute that's just hanging on more than it should. Nice. All right, we're going to make our way down to the floor. So bending, 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 bending. Maybe your feet come together, you reach out. I've got knee and hip problems this week, lovelies. So fun. Do a little bit of butterfly pose here. So bottoms of the feet coming together. Rock so that your booty is out of the way for you. Your sit bones are equally on the ground. Grabbing onto your ankles, pulling your chest through. Sitting up nice and tall. And see if you can push your feet together a little bit more. Maybe give a little bit more space for your knees to drop down. So this is not an area I'm super flexible. I promise I do stretch it. Lovely. And if you like, you can come forward a little bit more. First, let's keep our back straight. So stretching. We're going to work on chest coming toward forward. Ooh, my whole back is so tight. Nice. And now go ahead and dip your head. Breathing. Filling up your lungs. Inhaling. Exhaling. Stacking it up. Let's do some twisting, shall we? First, I gotta twist my hair out of my way. It's getting so hot now. I'm glad that I moved these stretches back to my morning time. I hope it's cool where you are. All right, so comfortable cross leg position. I'm gonna put my right leg in front. Super doesn't matter. This is just how I remember. I say it out loud. <laughs> Flexing those feet, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna move from the low belly, rotating away. up nice and straight in your spine so you might want to take your back fingers and kind of tent them on the ground so you can push your spine up straight and then breathing into 
all sides of your lungs. Like a big balloon filling up. Maybe you can rotate a little deeper. those knees are still dropping toward the ground. Inhale it forward. Release. And then let's stretch up and away from the leg. Um, not away, over using the same arm as the leg is in front. Words are hard today. Keep that hip pressing down. to the opening. Inhaling up, and we're gonna go right over to the other side. So now, opposite arm up to the leg that's in front. Hmm. Shoulders having fun today too. Stretch over. Ah, oh, there you go. Finding maybe some extension in your neck. Well, coming up. Slip back on your hands. Knees up to the ceiling, and then windshield wiper them back and forth. Enjoying that. the other leg in front. Sorry, it's taking me a moment here that the hip problem I have is going all the way down to my leg. So situate yourself as you need. Woo, wiggle it out. Let your body know it's okay to stretch. Flex those feet. Inhale. Exhale, rotate over to the side. Still filling up the lungs on every area, the front, the back, the side body. Exhale back to front. Reach that arm up, same arm as in front. Leg stretching over. Keep it nice and long. Hip stays rooting down into the ground, so don't let it come up. Rotating, rotating. Nice. Feels so good to stretch it out, right? Send your legs forward and just wiggle them. Bounce it out a little bit here. Nice. And now come up sitting straight. So we want to keep a nice, tall, straight spine. So it could mean that you're just pushing yourself up right here. Navel's coming to spine and you're nice and lifted, or you might start to bend forward at your hips, pulse them, meet a 
way there. Coming down, nice long extended spine. Breathing into that space, maybe reaching down to the bottom of your feet to help stretch you a little bit longer. Really thinking about that chest trying to come down to the thighs. Wiggle if you need. Press your legs into the ground. If you want more stretch, but keep that spine straight. And go ahead, drop your head now. Get a little upper back stretch. our ankles here. It's good to make sure they're nice and mobile and fluid too. Okay, go the other direction. Beautiful. A couple more little stretches. So I'm going to put, I guess lean over to one side, put one leg behind you, not in your sparkly curtain, and one leg in front sitting up straight as you can. This is kind of a zigzag with the legs. Try to keep both hips or booties, like booty cheeks, on the ground. And then come forward. See if you can press your legs down into the ground. Nice long spine again. stay here for like 20 minutes and just let that hip go. I might do that later. Coming up, lean away, and then we're going to rotate to the other side. If you need to like spread your leg a little bit further so that you know it's comfortable for you or your knees, totally go for it. Adjust to where it suits your body. Come forward with a straight spine, trying to press those knees into the ground. Especially your front knee. Keep your booty cheeks on the ground. toward that front foot. Enjoy the space in your hip. So nice. Lovely. Walk it back, lean away, and then bring your legs out to front. We're going to straddle, so come to your straddle. That is comfortable for you. Pull those booty cheeks off the ground and just wiggle your legs right here. Let your legs know it's cool to stretch. Nice, and now extend. If you can press your legs all the way flat on the ground, point your toes, see if you can press them a little bit more there. Flex. Nice. Sitting up nice and tall. So we want a long spine, same thing as we're stretching forward. So if your spine starts to curve the moment you come forward, 
Tent your fingers, push yourself up. You're getting a ton of stretch still. Um, if you're ready, start walking your hands forward. Continue pushing your legs into the ground. Work into the chest down toward the ground. Wiggle if you need to. Hey body, it's cool to stretch. Stretching feels good. Point your toes, press your legs into the ground. Relax some, inhale, extend your spine. See if you can maybe go a little bit lower. Wiggling, wiggling as you need. One more time, point your toes, press your legs down into the floor. And flex them, inhale, extend. Exhale, see if you got a little bit lower in you. Nice. And walk yourself back. You can lean back, um, wobble your legs. You can stay seated there. I'm going to prepare to pull a card. And while I do, I just want to remind you that uh, Saturday midday Pacific time and Wednesday nights, Charlie Sharp is teaching Bendy for All Bodies, which is a really, really thorough stretch. Uh, so if you want a super full body everything, lots of our students have been uh, saying how much they enjoy it and how much more flexible they are becoming by coming regularly to her classes. So you can register for those on showgirltemple.com. She is um, even more trained than me in stretching and flexibility and capable of offering all sorts of modifications for your body. So if you need something adjusted, you just tell her. And she's a wealth of knowledge there. And then uh, Wednesday, you can also sign up for Torque Shop to get nice and warm before you stretch. So you can maybe even go a little bit more deeply. All right, let me Pulling through the energy that you're sending out for what we need today or for the coming week, the guidance we need, right, to keep going. I've had a bit of a struggle this week, I'm not going to lie. It's been one of those, those weeks where it feels really hard to stay positive and keep going. So I have been digging into my gratitude, I've been doing a lot of movement about to go spend a chunk of time in nature. Those are my favorite ways to chill out, reconnect, realize how wonderful and beautiful the world still is, even with its challenges, and refuel to keep going. I need a lot of fuel right now <laughs> to keep going. All right, send it through, beauties. Who is our guy? the hum 
hundreds of gifts you receive each day, whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one. Simply say thank you for each gift and know that they're filling up your storehouse, keeping the divine flow going strong. Meanings. Be still and listen. Release guilt about receiving. Ask for help. Increase psychic awareness. Know you're in a learning cycle. Healing is occurring. Be more in your feminine energy. Child conception, pregnancy, or birth, including adoption, or favorable custody arrangements are issues in your life. Hathor is a beloved Egyptian goddess represented by the head of a cow to symbolize the sacred animal's life giving milk and mothering. Hathor is a benevolent sky and sun goddess who helps with all aspects of child conception, birthing, and raising. Call upon Hathor to guide you in nurturing yourself and your loved ones. How wonderful. I think we all could have some receiving now. I hope that everything that you need arrives gracefully and easily and that you are able to receive it with gratitude and joy. Sometimes that's hard, right? We feel like we're not worthy of receiving, but that's not true. We're all humans in human bodies, and therefore you are worthy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you get into Charlie's classes and uh, receive her delicious offerings, because there's some extra goodness in there. Um, if you're not already part of the Reconnect with Body Magic group, I invite you to join us there. Tuesdays, I do a special uh, tease tips class in there which is more about like saucy stuff, some burlesque, sometimes mindset practices, um, things that I feel like generally Facebook might block or not always let us put out there. So if you want that goodness, join us in Reconnect with Body Magic. Um, there's links to it on all my stuff. Um, and we'll have more fun stuff coming up in there very soon. And Saturday the 8th, we have a few more spots in our Glam Shot workshop. So if you would like to be guided through a uh, remote photo shoot, so you'll be in one space and our photo director, Vanity Thorne, our High Priestess of Glam, will be in her own space. Uh, but she will take you through getting some amazing shots of yourself with beautiful poses, and then she'll edit three of your favorite shots. <clears throat> So the Glam Shot Workshop is also on showgirltemple.com and all of my locations. I hope to hear and see all of you virtually at least sooner than later. Have a beautiful week.